Hello, I'm Andy Newman, Fixture Tooling Product Specialist here at Atlas Crapco. Today's video is going to show you a very important troubleshooting tool for your PowerMax 4000, and that is the Event Log. The Event Log is a valuable tool for troubleshooting PowerMax 4000 problems. Setup problems help you ensure that you are programming correctly. Both can be found on the main screen of Tools Talk PowerMax. You have to know what's wrong before you can fix it. Here we can see that the setup problems and the event log are the bottom two items on the default screen view of Tools Talk Power Max. Setup problems perform a number of tests on your setup. It will test all the combination of programs against the bolt and spindles that you have set up. All target values will be tested in respect to the max values defined by the spindles that you use. The window is by default docked on the left hand side of the Tools Talk Power Max main window. Setup problems. It will warn you if you're trying to do something that the system is not capable of. So for instance, if we're programming a 20 newton meter spindle for 400 newton meters, that will result in an error. That's something that the system cannot do and it will not allow you to try to do that. However, it can also help you make good choices. So here, for example, we're doing some programming. We're setting a target of 360 degrees with a limit of 180 degrees. The software already knows that you want us to go 360 degrees, but you're telling me not to go more than 180 degrees. That's going to result in a reject. So we're going to give you a warning that that's probably not some good programming. The event log shows you everything that went wrong. That's the first place you need to go to find out what your reject was. And it gives you specific details on what the event that caused that reject was. The event log can be filtered. We recommend that you view all the event types. But as you can see here in the setup of the event log, we can pick and choose which types of events we want to see. What information will the event log supply to you? It's going to give you the date and the time that the event occurred. What TC the event was on. The station, the bolt, the event type, and it will even give you a description of what the event was. So in the above example, we can see that on 225 of 2020 at 323.49, TC number two in station number one, running bolt number two while running the program Titan 10, had an error. That's what the red indicates. It was a check, and in step number three, we failed for the restriction of fail-safe time. So you can see the event log gives you a lot of information on where to go and look for your issues. The event log itself will store approximately 300 prevents. If a computer were online with the system at the time of the event, that event is also going to be stored on the hard drive. We will store two files on the computer, so you'll have approximately 600 events, and they'll be detailed as event log 1 and event log 2. These files are written whenever Tools Talk Power Max is disconnected and closed. The location of these files is controlled by Windows, and their path is, the Power Max, is located in the Power Max 4000 version you're running. It's always C, Users, Public, Documents, Atlas Copco, and then whichever version you're running in the log folder, you will find the EV Log 1 and the EV Log 2. Here we see an example, EV Log 1, and when we open it, we can do that in Notepad. We see almost exactly what we see on the screen. We get all that detailed information from the event log that you were seeing in Tools Talk Power Max. This is the best way to share an event log. This way, whatever person's receiving it can see much more history and much more detailed information on what the event was. I hope this video was helpful. Any further questions, please contact your Atlas Capco representative. Thanks. <laughs>